All right, so today's video is all about the Huawei Mate XT. Now, this is the tri-folding phone from Huawei, and this phone has really, really made me want to get a folding phone. And more so than really anything ever before uh, have I wanted to get this phone because this phone is just so dynamic and different and it's more than anything i thought a folding phone would be it's like really cool and smooth the way it opens and uh, the potential of having a 10.2 inch display uh, or something smaller it goes down to 6.4 and then it folds open to 7.9 and then again up to 10.2 it's just insane to think that i could have a device like that in my pocket that's super thin it's actually as thin as a galaxy z fold 6 which has you know just two things here it has three on the huawei made xt and again it's the same thickness as this so it's insane it's like literally having three regular sized phones attached to each other um, allowing you to play video games and games and uh, videos and whatever else you want to do with it well people are starting to get this phone in hand and there are some major major defects going on with this phone like as bad as people literally getting the phone unboxing it and it's already broken i haven't seen that too much i know samsung and other manufacturers of folding devices have had issues where when you get the device after a certain amount of time have it be a week uh or a year or whatever you know the devices might start to get like a black line through them uh or have some kind of defect it's usually on the bigger you know inside display well, the Huawei Mate XT is having these issues again right after unboxing the phone, or even if it doesn't happen then, it's very shortly after where they're literally just opening it and closing it a couple times and the thing just breaks down. And that for quality control is really, really bad. Uh, people are complaining about uh, the creases in the displays, how they're not uniform and in the right locations of what you would expect them to be with a tri-folding foam and quality is everything with folding phones when you get a folding phone if you're a veteran like me or anybody else that's had one for a while you know that these phones are not like the traditional you know candy bar phones generally they're not as long lasting or as reliable or you know because if every time you drop your phone of have a folding phone you're like even if the screen doesn't break Something might come loose inside the phone where you're like, dang, I broke it. Or, you know, the cable got loose inside and now I need to send it off for repair. Speaking of repairs, repairs are not cheap either. And especially a device like that, it's gonna be very expensive to get that fixed because it's like a one of a kind type of a thing. And also just getting it fixed, let's be honest, they're probably not gonna fix it. Probably just gonna end up sending you a new one because it's so new. Um, that happens with a lot of phones when they're new, depending, even if it's, you know, one of these phones, they're generally not going to fix it, especially if it's brand, brand new, that's going to end up sending you a new one. And if you can't get the reliability right on this phone, why would you release it? And it's obviously not happening to everyone, but it's happening to some people. And it could be a telltale sign of why we haven't seen it from really anyone else. Like maybe Samsung's like, you know what? We know our folding phones have gotten better year over year over year with reliability of the physical hardware. And maybe Huawei is like, you know what? I'm just, we're just gonna push it out, see what happens. It's pretty good for us, but sometimes it breaks, but we'll just push it out. And it makes sense why a company like Samsung or anybody else is like, let's wait. It's not fully there. It needs some handholding. It needs some things that need to be improved it makes total sense to me why we're not seeing more of these now samsung's probably going to release one of these or something similar to these in the next year or two but that's another year or two of getting things right of improving things of getting newer technologies that actually work better with the the hardware so i don't I mean again maybe this will turn out to be a very small percentage of people that have the huawei med xt where they're like you know it's great it works fine but there's going to be some that, you know, are even smaller percentage are like, this thing sucks. It just broke. It makes me think too, like, you know, as an importer, I haven't imported it, but if I was, I have no way of getting that fixed. There's not a Huawei store here in America. There's not, there's not a way for me to ship that off that I believe that I can get it fixed. 
I don't think, or I could probably ship it to them, but they're probably not going to ship it back to America. Um, so I'd be out of luck, you know, buying a device that's, you know, 2,800 bucks in China and then getting it over here in America, it's much more expensive. I think it like the importers is on it for like $7,000 or something ridiculous. I wouldn't even pay that for regardless. But even if I did in the phone breaks, especially at that price, who's fixing that? I'm probably going to be out of all that money and have a broken phone that I can do absolutely nothing with until I can sell it to somebody else that it's broken. So it is a disappointment. It is a worry now. Um, obviously it was in my mind thinking that this might have some issues, but actually seeing videos online of people having issues with the phone and the reliability seeming kind of crap, it's scary, especially at that price. You, these, I, I've, I've gone back and forth on the last year or so about, you know, do people need insurance on their folding phones? And they still do have it be a tri folding phone or a dual folding phone. Uh, or, or, or a flip phone, you probably should get the insurance just to be safe. That peace of mind, because these phones are expensive to fix, hundreds of dollars. It, it, it'll almost be worth it to just eat the loss and get a new one, uh, potentially, depending upon the age of the phone too. So pretty crazy. What are your thoughts on this? I know some of you will be like, I'm not surprised. Some will be surprised, but what do you guys think about this? Is this something to be concerned with, with the future of uh, all tri-folding phones or maybe just this one? Let me know your thoughts. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.